Hello all and welcome back. Today we are going to create this beautiful animation in PowerPoint. Let's get started. This video has animation tutorial only. For design portion, please check out 4 step infographics playlist and video number 39. As usual, let's first move apart each elements of any one design segment and check how many elements needs to be animated. Same set of elements will be applicable for other design segments. Press Ctrl plus Z to undo all changes. Before we start, let's first group roller and its shadow shape together. We are doing this change so that we can animate them together. We also need to make couple of changes to ease our animation process. Let's go to selection pane and rename each of these groups from 1 to 4. Also enable the guides, create 4 horizontal guides, and align them to each of these groups. We will make use of these guides to decide the end position of our line motion animations. Next go to insert tab and draw rectangle shape to cover first zigzag shape as shown. Make it no outline and fill it with dark grey color. Duplicate this rectangle using Ctrl plus D and place it over other three zigzag shapes. Now match the fill color of all these four rectangles with background color and make sure the back end zigzag shapes are covered perfectly. Let's change the fill color back to dark gray and rename them as rectangle 1 to 4 under selection pane. Finally we are all set. Let's enable the animation pane and start our animation process. Select all these four rectangles and apply line motion path animation. Start each of these animations on click of mouse button. Now we need to adjust endpoint of all these animations to each of the horizontal guides. This step is very crucial. Now increase the height of all these rectangles until the height of entire slide. Also match their fill color with background color.
go to selection pane and bring all the roller shapes on top of these rectangles. Drag first roller shape to top edge of slide and that will be the starting position of its animation. Select all the roller shapes and align them to top. Now go to animation tab and apply same line motion path animation to roller shapes. Again change end point of these animations to each of horizontal guides. Now here is the another crucial step. Under the animation pane, place each of these roller animations, just below its rectangle animations. All rectangle animations must begin on click of mouse button, and their roller animations must start with previous. Now select all these animations, go to effect options, and add end bounce effect of 0.6 seconds. Let's preview the animation once. We can see, lot of shadow effects are visible, and we need to adjust rectangle shapes to hide them. Let's preview animation once again. There is one more small portion which is visible, let's hide it by adjusting the fourth rectangle shape. So here is the final preview. Hope you all liked it. Please don't forget to like, share and comment.